Okay, so here's a short video explaining the difference between center of mass and center of pressure, and then demonstrated via GASP's 3D, dual 3D force plate system, demonstrating the movements of both the center of mass and the center of pressure. So firstly, center of mass is the point where the body mass is balanced around. When standing upright or vertical, generally found inside of the body around where the belly button is. When tipped forwards from the hips, found slightly out in front of the body. GASP system shows the center of mass in its vertical location as this upper blue dot, and then projects that down to the ground between the feet and then shows that motion its motion as a trace line center of pressure is the average position of the combined vertical forces from both the trail and lead foot so if we add up the contribution from the gray arrow and the green arrow, we get the red arrow. The center of pressure is shown as a trace as the tail of the red arrow. Okay, so I'm going to show you two swings with two very different outcomes. They produce different speeds, different impact factors, and the ball traveled different distances. So this is my more powerful swing created more club head speed, created more dynamic loft, launched the ball higher, carried it further. So as we move the club into backswing, by P2, the arm and the club mass will move the center of mass to the right of its original location. So I've shown it here, this vertical line, is the center of my pelvis at the start. We can see my body moving to the right as my arms and club move. And by the time I get to around P3 here, we can see that there's more of my body mass to the right of this vertical yellow line. That's shown on GASP's system here with the center of mass dots to the right of the center of the plate and right of their original location. By the time I get to P4, I've introduced right left force that changes the angle of the red arrow there, the center of pressure, and we can see the right left force is influencing the direction of that right of that red arrow. We can see the magnitude start to change in that red arrow as well as I start to rely upon or start to use vertical force to help generate speed into the club. So as we come down into the downswing, we can see that the magnitude of the arrow there really grow and rise as the force gets stronger there in the vertical force. We can see how much of that is contributed by the lead side here, the, the length of the green arrow, ramping up the vertical force so that my body actually starts to slow down its rotation as I make effort to get my speed into my arms and the club. See the motion of my lead foot? Okay, so that swing produces Max, that produces a higher club speed and a higher ball speed and an increased carry distance. So this particular swing here, slightly different, would be used in a different situation on the golf course when I'm trying to flight the ball lower. It moved my low point considerably more forwards, delivered less dynamic loft, 
change the strike on the face, change the smash factor. You can see my center of mass is left of the center of stance, left of the center of plate. So you can see here from the two blue dots, the start point of my center of mass. That moves to the right of its original position by P2, back to the center of the plate now. By P4, repositioned itself left of center of the plate, left of center of stance. We can see a bit more body mass left of this vertical yellow line. We can see how right left force has influenced the direction of the angle of the red arrow. And then we can see how then, how the lead, how the vertical force ramped right up, mainly from the lead foot contribution there. As my body starts to slow down, rotating, to try and get the speed out to the golf club and the ball. If we look at the two pressure traces, from my faster swing that produced more total torque, this is more of a Z trace. And then from the shot, which was a more flighted lower ball flight, less carry distance, we can see this more fish hook style, fish hook looking trace of the center of pressure. So there we go. Center of mass, center of pressure, shown on GASP's dual 3D force plate system. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate your support with the channel. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and click on the notifications icon so that when you log on to YouTube, you see my new videos when I release them. Thank you very much. You guys are great.